Hello, brothers and sisters of the hangar. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is a common sense. I try to keep it down and it degree in the 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, I'm some very, very important because everything I fucking say is important. Now, um, if you have any comments, questions, or insults, you put it down below. And um, basically, this video is kind of upside down. Okay. Maybe it may not show upside down, okay? But of course, um, I just keep it as it is because I see the cameras here. It's right there. And I keep looking up this way. But one day I'll have enough. I'll have enough money one day because of you, okay? Of the elite, not the masses. I don't. I care not for the masses. No, 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 I don't fuck animals. Okay, I love animals more than humans, but I don't fuck animals. Okay, I don't eat animals all like that either. Though I, ha it's, a, it's like a delicacy, like um, the friend, the French eat cockroaches and shit, you know, and blood socks. It's sometimes, it's just a, it's just a habit sometimes. You just can't stop it. Look, if you don't know me by now, you just look on my other pages and then you should go on for there. I, I, I am a psychologist. I am a, uh, not pseudo of anything, okay, of sorts, because people call me pseudo and they think I'm stupid or some shit. I don't think they understand the terminology of what pseudo is, okay. But of course, um. If you have any comments, questions, or answers, you put it down below. And if you were brought here because of a beautiful picture of a white man who basically was a professor in zoology, congratulations, motherfuckers. You are fucking intelligent. Because it's just a picture, okay? I didn't put down the Kinsey Institute report on the in the book, okay? I'm looking at a little note here, okay? This is unscripted, okay? Because I'm a comedian, right? But of course, I ain't tarnishing nobody's name or anything like that, but I admire the man. I seen a video, a movie about him one time, but I don't know. I think it's called The Kinsey. I think the movie's called The Kinsey. It was based off of 1950s or something, 1960s in that era. And you try to get a movement going because of sexuality. Okay? The behavior of sexuality is very important these days, of course, because me, I was like, ew, I always thought like, I always thought, I never really liked that sound. When I watch pornography, I never really liked that sound. Okay, um, and I say, I don't like all that spit on my penis, okay, because I have OCD, and that's another department altogether, motherfucker. <laughs> that's another department. I don't like all that spit. I don't like all that spit. Spit comes from your mouth. You could have gingivitis or some shit like that. But I digress here. I already wasted enough of your time right now. I'm just babbling on again. This video is going to be about, um, oh, as I mentioned before, the, the book is called The Kinsey Institute New Report on Sex, okay? Okay, by June M. Uh, Rins Rinis Rinisk, Ph.D. Okay, okay. Um, of course you can look it up yourself. You know, just put in the title. I'll put it down in the description box. But this video is going to be called uh, "My Virgin Wife." Okay, and my virgin understandings. Okay, of, of the psychology between the correlation between uh, them watching porn and not. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. I I narrowed it down to two different types of women. Okay, either she's very sexual, promiscuous, or she's not sexual. And each department of those two branches off from that right there because I have experience, unlike um, the zoologist, Mr. Alfred C. Kinsey, because I have experience. I actually looked at pussy and fucked the pussy and also seen the tightness and I did those things and I've talked to a gynecologist at the same time. Though Kinsey tried to start a movement with the, the president at his time, it was canceled, and he was he was supported by um, Rothschild, Rockefeller. I did, I couldn't. I was shocked. I was shocked. Is this so fucking true? He was supported because he can, can he can take differentiations of different personalities and shit and put them in boxes and shit. I wonder how that what I wonder how that society would work if he knew that he was trying to separate the whores from the people who love to learn. That's what he was trying to do. I knew he was trying to do. I said, I like the motherfucker. That was, that's kind of smart. So if you're in this department, you go here. If you're in this department, you go here. Okay. And he tried to get that enforced. Okay. And that was an early version of uh, martial law. Yeah. And that would have happened in a certain sense. Okay. One thing would have led to another. But anyway, this is what I learned from my experience from virgins. This is how you can tell virgins. Virgins are very shy, okay? They're very fucking shy, okay? They have to be taught, okay? And most of the time, they'll be... If they're really inexperienced virgin, okay, they won't... They don't like... They don't like watching pornography. That's basically put it like that and simple. They're shy. They're conservative. 
They don't like exposing themselves. They're not social, okay? And if they are social, that means they have some girlfriends who are pushing them to be social. And you have to understand something here. My wife is a virgin, and her sister's a virgin, and I met plenty of virgins in Ethiopia. There you go. So you know I have experience. I also had two pussies laid side by side, and I used to fuck them with fucking dildos. I talk about this because it's the shit. I'm the shit. I don't be talking. I, well, listen, in America, my dating game goes like this. I'm direct. I make them smile once. Right? And then I, next thing you know, I try to make sure I'm clean and I smell good. My breath smells and everything. It smells nice and something like that. And I give them a card so they can call. Okay? And that's my advanced approach, what I used to do. And then if they don't call, then I know I put them on a certain book, a certain type of booklet. So they'll call, they'll probably call a month later or some shit because they're fucking around and they got some distractions. Eventually, I tell them I'm packing or some shit because I don't give a fuck about their pussy because I know they're used and I know they're fucking virgin. I mean, they're, they're not a virgin. They're not a virgin. And so what I would do with virgins is only fucking with the dildo, the strap-on dildo. So I'm unique and eccentric in that way. But a female who is a virgin, I have encountered two women in America, actually, as a matter of fact, and I sense they were virgins. They move kind of in an awkward sense and approach. And I'm like, I said, let me take a guess. Are you a virgin? And she said, yes. How do you know? My father is very fucking strict. Because she asks enough questions, she start understanding who the families are. You have to ask the questions about the father. Where's the mother at? If the father is not there, definitely she's not a virgin. If the father is there, definitely she is a virgin again. you got to watch the attire of what females wear if you want to know if they're a virgin. So I guess twice on money. So how did you know? Because the way you smell. Sometimes the way they smell, they don't smell like cigarettes. They don't even move a certain way. They don't even talk a certain way. But you got to understand, I had I had a female who was close to a virgin. Okay, She's going to have like one boyfriend. Okay. Okay, I, I keep it down. Keep the numbers down because women be fucking. They be fucking, right? They be fucking right in the cock carousel. All right? But I'm going to put this to MGTOW because I think it's very important to understand that when you have a conversation with females, you have to get into their personal life a little bit. And I have that capability, charmingly, to open them up very early. Most of the time, I can just read a female and tell she's not a virgin. Okay? But there are some females, particularly, they are a virgin. They're super fucking attractive. They'll either be too shy, okay, or they're not desperate, okay? Because you got to understand something. Aggr aggressive females are usually not virgins, okay? And what my wife did, she gave me a lot of things that indicated that she was not a virgin. Ah! Ah! So how did I take the risk to go over there to make sure she's a virgin? You got to stick it in. You got to stick it in. The, the only 100 way to tell if she's truly, truly a virgin Okay, is to stick it in. Okay, if she bleeds a lot, okay, then of course, definitely she's a virgin. But of course, she could have had sex even though it may not have been broken. She probably had a small penis. She was like, okay, she probably had a small penis and it didn't break her hymen. She probably got broken because of you. I saw some Asian porn and shit on the internet and she basically like bled to death. She almost bled to death. And of course, she wasn't no virgin. Now, there's females basically who be having sex sometimes. But the thing is that that don't mean that they're 100% 100 virgin. <laughs> This is a fact, okay? Now, females out there, there's a lot of females out there who think their pussy's golden and it stays the same after they have babies, okay? But they don't understand the facts and logic behind that kind of nonsense and shit. It doesn't stay the same. That's why there's a man over in California doing pussy reconstructions, okay? So they can put that shit back, get the elasticness right back, you know what I'm saying? My wife, however, bled to death, and I thought I made a mistake. I thought I killed her. I, did, I, I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyway, if you came to my page because of his white face, congratulations, you're an intellectual. You must be, okay, why is this picture here, okay? What is he going to talk about? Is he going to make me funny, okay? What the, I'm just going through my experiences, motherfucker. That's all I'm doing. This is what you can learn about virgins. Virgins basically are shy. They don't really like pornography. They, they dress a certain way. They carry themselves more conservative. They have a father in their life. And this is why I tell a lot of kingsmen... Try to only stay on that side of the fence, you know, with the virgin guy, girls, okay? All right? So peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. What else is to say about um, Kenzie or the virgins and the por pornography? You know, it's not much. My wife don't like watching pornography, okay? And I send it to her sister sometimes. And she showed me videos. That, that what made me feel that she was not a virgin because she showed me videos of her, her, her clip and everything. I needed to see that type of stuff. That showed her a clip of my penis, so there's no way I'm coming if you don't show me your shit. And okay? does it make sense? Whew. But I say a lot. And I got a lot. I'm a lucky motherfucker, am I? You have a nice fucking day. Peace.